Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of permutations and combinations. And if I talk about this question, which is given to us here, the question tells us that number of ways we have to figure out in which 21 identical apples can be distributed among three children such that each child gets at least two apples. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, the options are 130, 136, 142, 406. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve this question further. Before starting off with the solution, we need to figure out how to solve this idea. So for that, we'll see the idea of stars and bars which is a classic case of combinations that we have here so that basically tells us stars and bars means we are distributing identical items into distinct groups with certain restrictions so identical items in this case we have been given identical apples that are 21 and they need to be distributed into three children so here identical apples are to be distributed into distinct groups so they are to be distributed to a group of children and we have been given three children and certain restrictions so restrictions that is given to us here is at least two apples should be given to each child so that is the restriction given to us let's try to solve this question now for this we'll use the idea of stars and bars so first thing before doing that, we will use this idea of condition that is given to us at least two apples. So out of 21 and if you have been given three children, to each child will first give two apples so that this condition is met. So in total out of 21, I'm giving out 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is 6. So 21 minus 6, I'm giving out six apples so you are left with 15 more apples to be distributed now 15 more apples which we have to distribute we'll solve that part of the question using stars and bars technique so stars and bars basically denotes the apples as stars so here the apples which are present will denote them with stars and the children that is basically the number of groups we have to divide it into so we have divide we have to divide them into three children that will represent the bars so that is the idea if i show you an example let's say if you had five apples to be distributed among three children then one possible distribution can be two apples to the first child one apple to the second child and the next two apples to the third child so that can be one type of distribution so this represents stars these apples and bars represent the child. So here we have divided into three groups. One, two and three. Now further if I try to solve this. We need to basically now divide 15 apples into this three children. So for 15 apples. We'll have 15 stars drawn. And to divide it into three children we'll have three bars. So to divide into three groups we'll have two bars not three bars. So that we divide it into three groups so we will have 15 stars and two bars in total so basically in total in a row we have to arrange 15 stars and two bars means we have to arrange 17 stars and bars together so total number of objects we are arranging is 15 apples and two bars to divide them into three groups so in total we have 17 objects so out of this 17 we need to choose two positions to put your bars there so for bars we two bars we need to choose two positions out of this 17 and that if you see can be done in 17 c2 ways because you're choosing 
17 C2, 17 factorial, 2 factorial, 15 factorial. That gives you 17, 16, 15 factorial. 2 factorial is 2 into 1 and 15 factorial. This gets cancelled to 1s to 8s. 17 into 8. So if I do it, 8 7s is 56, 5, 8 1s is 8 and 15, 136. So we get in total 136 ways in which we can arrange this 17 objects which are present. That is 15 stars and 2 bars. And out of that, we have to select just 2 of them. So 17 C2. That can be done in 136 ways. So indirectly what we are getting here is that the remaining 15 apples we actually have to divide into 3 children can be done in 136 ways. So this is the answer for the question that was asked to us that 21 identical apples were to be divided into three children with the condition that at least two apples are given to each child. And that can be done in 136 ways. So answer for the question becomes option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of combinations. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on an everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. And share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on an everyday basis. Thank you.